We begin with breaking news. Court documents have now named the man accused of animal abuse, captured on a video we showed you exclusively last night. A video that, fair warning, can be tough to watch. It was captured by surveillance camera in an elevator at the private residences of the Hotel Georgia in downtown Vancouver. The man is seen repeatedly kicking the dog and yanking the dog's leash a number of times. The SPCA has since removed the dog. It is now safe. And Jill Bennett joins us with the latest details. Jill, the search warrant names a Desmond Haig. Explain what you've learned. Exactly, Chris. This is the search warrant that, our, that the SVCA obtained after they received a copy of that video. That's the video where you can see that dog in the elevator. It provides more details about the day, about the owner of the dog, a Doberman, less than one year old, named Sade. The owner has been identified as, you mentioned, Desmond Haig. He lives in the residences at the Hotel Georgia. An employee of the residences made the complaint to the SVCA after seeing the security Security video from 11:30 at night on July 27th. Now the warrant states Hag kicks the dog on left side of stomach. Hag kick, kicks the dog with the right foot in left stomach again. Hag yanks leash aggressively over his right shoulder to the point where dog is lifted into the air, choking the dog. It then notes that Hag is six foot one and 200 pounds. It says the dog is off the ground for approximately five seconds. Hag is observed yanking and moving his right fist toward the dog. No contact is observed. Now, on August 20th, the informant uh, who made this tape available to the SPCA uh, said uh, he went with a protection officer. According to these documents, they went back to Hag's home in the residences where the informant identified Hag as the man on that video. At the time, according to the warrant, Hag stated he understood and refused, declined to make a statement, and requested counsel. And we know today, Chris, that the, R or the SVCA sorry, has forwarded the matter to Crown for consideration of charges. Chris? Jill, there's obviously a lot of anger about this story and around this story. If Haig is charged and found guilty, what's the possible punishment he could face? And Chris, that's what fuels a lot of the anger, not just what people are seeing on that video, but when we've seen other cases of animal abuse, the sentences to a lot of people don't fit the crime. He does face, or anybody would face, if they are convicted, and to keep in mind, no charges have been laid. He is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. If someone is convicted of cruelty to animals, though, they could face a fine of up to $75,000, and they can face jail time. But again, it's extremely rare for anybody to be serving jail time because of that and that's where why some people are saying that the law needs uh, some more teeth uh, so again the SVCA has turned the matter over to Crown no charges have been laid uh, we will find out uh, if charges are laid in this case in the coming weeks all right we certainly will and we'll update it if that happens thanks very much Jill